So we stood in on this shed looking at his drill and we've been talking about SFI. Look at his shiny drill. Look how shiny that is. How is it going to work with you then? So the plan is, because we're direct drilling, you can get paid for direct drilling now for not non-inversion of the soil, is it? Yeah. So I, don't, I can't remember what the code is. So that helps to pay towards the drill. And the other thing that we're going to do is we're going to grow, grow winter bird seed. But once it's grown with that drill, I can then go through it and drill another crop straight away, but still leave the bird feed in the field. That's the plan. Do you think SFI is going to work for you? Definitely, yeah. Because even in the summer, because we're just scratching in with that, that we can get the bird seed up and away as soon as the combine leaves the field. And we're even going to look at broadcasting into the standing crop winter bird feed to get it up away quicker and then we can get some late pollination flowers as well when did you start your sfi i started one application in december and it got it in november and it got accepted at the end of november and i got paid in december and then i started another one for a neighbor the other day that they wanted me to do and we had a decision within 24 hours what's the downside then you just got to think a bit differently change the dates that you'd maybe farm but not a lot. I mean, the old system rewarded you just for sort of having the land, whereas the new system, if you make a few changes, you can actually get rewarded for some environmental good. So whether that's winter bird mix, the stuff for grassland, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, there's loads for grassland, yeah. Um, there's lots of things. There's something to fit everyone's farms, certainly in England. I, I can't find the downside, if I'm honest, and it's certainly helped this year with the cash flow. So... Do you think it's a threat to production or do you think it's a good thing? Being political? I think some people might just think, well, my land's so poor, I'll just grow bird food because it'll give me a better return. I don't think it's morally right to not grow food, so I'm going to try and do both. It's quite an odd thing though, isn't it? And there's a cut-off, I would have thought, between yield, people with their yields that are great over in Lincolnshire, they're not going to take it anyway. But anywhere else that's not making the yield work for them, in a difficult climate, why wouldn't you try it? I'm gonna have a go at it, you know, I'm in it, why well, not? Well, that's it, and unless you're on this soils that you can get 10 ton on a bad year and 12 ton in a good year of wheat, yeah. then it probably doesn't look that attractive, but on marginal soils and the climate that we get in the Northwest, it's an insurance policy to make sure we can stay in business. And on mixed farming, if you're on grassland as well, if you put IGLs and SAMs in, I can't see it as a downside, really. I really don't. So the production thing for me, yeah, I can understand why some people might be grumpy, but in principle, I think it's pretty cool. Yeah, and it, it's funny, really. So Sandy from the RPA sat on the combine with us when we did the combine challenge, yeah. and we were talking about it then, and it was only in its infancy. And he kind of sold it that it was going to be good. And it was only when I got used to the detail of it, I thought, no, this is good. It does fit the farm, and it, it's an insurance policy that's going to keep me farming. Safe farming income, maybe? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Some people won't like it, some people will, but it's an option, isn't it? Yeah, so take a look at it if you haven't already. You can also, this sounds like an advert now. Oh, no, it's a song advert. But yeah. you, can get, you can get business advice through likes of ADAS and other places to talk you through it and, and what might work on your farm. So There are lots of people, I think it's £2,000 now, they've upped it to £2,000 for the advice over the three years. So, yeah, go and get the advice. It might work for you, you never know. And if, it, if you don't think it's going to work, you don't think it's a, it's a good thing for your farm, no need to comment under the video. No, no, don't moan at us. No, don't, don't moan, moan at us, at us for goodness it, sake. We, we think it can work for us, keep us profitable and keep us in business. If you don't think it works for you, then don't take offence, but that's just where, we're, where we are about it anyway. It's an option. If you haven't got an option, you haven't got an option. And this is an option. So take anyway, care. take care. See you soon. See ya.